Hey YouTube. Um, in part one, my video got cut off. Um, I ran out of memory. Um, didn't realise my phone was that full up. And um, this is part two of my um, VCLT, which I got from Jim. Um, and this has come all the way from Texas. And um, yeah, I was actually showing two of the records and then realised my phone had cut out. So um, hopefully we shouldn't have any more issues with the memory. So um, I was, I had picked up in my last video the um, copy of Paradise Lost's the reissue of Host, which I do actually have. Um, so if this is an American version, then I will keep it. If it's a Europe one, then I will um, to pass it on because I've already got um, the UK one, the Europe one. So, yeah. Great album. <clears throat> That's the sort of album if you're into Depeche Mode, but a heavy version of Depeche Mode. That's uh, the ideal record. Um, very heavy and uh, well not very heavy for paradise lost but heavy electronic type music and um the original cover is blue which uh i do have i think up there somewhere well, i definitely got it on cd in blue um right next thing which i did show uh would have been this record here and I do have this, but this is a much better copy than what I have. Uh, mine's got a sticker in the corner, and it's one of those stickers you cannot get off without damaging the record. And um, it's uh, by Enough's Enough, and uh, their first album, self-titled, debut, Enough's Enough. And uh, some really great tracks on there, which I love. I do love that album. Um... The album I'm really after the most on vinyl is uh, Strength. That is the one that is very hard to, to get hold of as well. And I don't know if they did one for the album um, Animals with Human Intelligence. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But it's on Atco. This is the um, US press. So really st stoked to have that. And then... The, Another one that was uh, I'd shown without realising the phone had stopped was um, the amazing Rough Cut. Uh, this is their self-titled album, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is one of my favourite uh, debuts uh, by an '80s rock metal band, Paul Shortino. He was in King Cobra, and um, yeah, sorry, King Cobra in the latter years because Marcy Free was the singer originally or Mark Free sorry um, but yeah and also was in Quiet Riot for one album and um, yes Paul Shortino check him out check out this band Rough Cut brilliant debut brilliant songs on there like uh, Take Her um, Dreaming Again Black Widow is amazing You Keep Breaking My Heart Dressed to Kill stuff like that just amazing. There's no um, inner sleeve, so I don't want to pull the record out yet. Um, I don't want it to get scratched. So I've got to find one for there. And the other one, everybody knows I'm a huge fan of this brand, and it's a White Snake. I did have this one, but this one here is the um, original, actually. This is, um, this is on Sunburst. Can't remember what mine is. I think I'm not sure if mine is somber. It might be somber's one, but if not, this is the um, this is a f this is a German one. So yeah, some really great tra tracks on there. I love. <coughs> I think no, there's nothing else in there. But yeah, 
White Snake's my favourite band, so there you go. 1978, that was. And then some of the songs were some from his solo second album, North Wind, which are on there on side B, um, side two, and um, they were from 77. Um, next record is, make sure I'm not missing anything, because if you haven't seen part one, you'll know that I got this big box of records and some CDs. There's a few more to go. So the next one is by this band, Def Leppard. And this is uh, one that I was really after because I didn't have this version with the red high and dry lettering at the bottom. And it is Def Leppard's high and dry. See the red letter in there? Mine's in black. Mine's a slightly later issue on Vertigo. Killer album. Amazing. Don't let the cover put you off. The album is far superior. So there's the inner sleeve. Which I don't think I've got this sleeve actually. I think mine's a plain one. Because I don't remember seeing the picture of Rick Allen on his motorbike. So. Or whoever's motorbike that is. And it's got the old spaceship logo there. Oh, can you see that? Absolutely fab, 1981. And uh, yeah, fantastic. <clears throat> Next one is another Leopard album. And uh, oh, cool, very cool. Wow, I don't have this. This is a um, I don't know if this is a new one. It's got to be. Well, it's a, it's a new one to do in the shrink. But this is on red vinyl, and I don't I don't have that on red vinyl. Do any of you out there have that on red vinyl? Still sealed. So I might unwrap that in a different video. But yeah, absolutely awesome. This is a uh, Great Britain press. So awesome. And, oh, here we go. Oh, cool. This is the 180 gram heavyweight vinyl, double LP for the first time. And this is orange vinyl, uh, limited edition of, can you guess what it is? This is Steria. Awesome. Awesome gatefold. Made in Germany, this one. And uh, that's the back of the cover. Yeah, orange vinyl. I'm gonna, um, actually I'm gonna open the Pyromania and that one now and uh, show you what it's like. Awesome, it's very cool. Like I said in my first video, I really have not bought any records for ages, um, except from the one at the car, uh, the record fair I uh, just didn't have the money to spend I uh, haven't had the money to spend on records for since last year um, just to waste on well not waste it but you know um, I've I've not brought any of the uh, white snake stuff that's been coming out lately none of the um, I'm gonna get this open in a minute um, just the things that I've been wanting that have been coming out in 2019, I just haven't been able to afford at all. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm really pleased that um, I've been one of the lucky ones to uh, get some of the records this year, uh, which I'm truly grateful for. And... Um, I might keep that sticker. So yeah, here's the, uh, the record there. And yeah, I don't have, I don't think, I don't even think I have 
I can't remember if I've got a new Wisteria. I don't think I have. So this one is um, the 2017 one. So the records, let's start with the rear one. You get the lyrics there and there. And there's the orange vinyl, which looks a lot nicer in my video camera than it does from where I'm, uh, uh, because of the, uh, the glare. So there it is there. And then the other one, which has the uh, awesome picture of, I think it's Donington 86 on there. Yeah, that is, I think. And there's that one there. With the, uh, the mouth piece there. <laughs> and then that's, um, that's it. You don't get any download cards or nothing for that. So yeah, that's uh, going in my collection uh, next to my many copies of Hysteria that I own. I think I do have this, this one actually, but not on orange. I think mine is this one. Oh. Yeah, I do, look. That's a 2017, but that's the black one. That's just all black. Um, vinyl. So yeah, I thought I had a copy. But the orange one is brilliant as well. And I'm chuffed a bit. And that is all that is in that box. So um, cheers for watching. Keep rocking, keep listening to whatever it is you're listening to. And um, yeah, hopefully I might get some stuff at Christmas as presents. If I don't, well, then uh, I might do some a video towards the end of the year or the just after christmas um just to catch up so hope everyone has a great christmas and new year if you don't hear from me and um like subscribe comment uh, nice comments make me want to do more videos um and uh yeah cheers thank you again jim cheers merry christmas to you